I'm so happy, I'm so happy. What's up y'all, my name is Linda J. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please be sure to click that subscribe button before you go. And if you are already family, then thank you so much for joining me once again. If you are not a part of my IG stories, family let me catch you up i moved into my new apartment a few months back have been without a couch for i mean since i moved in so october november december january oh no wait i bought my couch in december so it was only two months <laughs> So I did not have a couch for a couple of months and I went so many places to try to find a couch that I would love, that I would just not regret. That was my biggest thing and I knew my mind was set on an L-shaped couch. So I went to Big Lots, Living Spaces, Ashley Furniture, Restoration Hardware, Crate and Barrel, CB2. I went to so many places to try to find an L-shaped couch that I knew that I would love, that was in my budget, that would also fit my aesthetic and fit the space that I live in, obviously. So, I found a couch. <laughs> If you did indeed miss my couch journey, I've saved all of those stories in my highlights. It should be in a highlight called Furniture. So if you head over to my Instagram, you can go ahead and check that out. It was really fun to have all of my IG family a part of this journey with me. A lot of you guys stay tuned. So I'm super excited to share what I actually got with you guys. If you catch me looking down, it's because I'm looking down at the notes on my phone. So we're just gonna jump straight into um, the details on this sectional that I purchased. And then we're gonna jump into the likes and the dislikes of this specific couch. And then I'll give you a helpful tip in this video so that if you are in the process of looking for furniture, what would be the best route for you to take if you really want your furniture ASAP because of everything that's going on with COVID. And I know during the holidays, a lot of people got a lot of orders, so they might be backed up. When I was couch hunting, the quickest that I think that I could have expected my furniture was six to seven weeks. That's about a month and a half to two months. I really did not want to wait that long because I was hoping to have my couch by this month, which I did because of the fact that I have visitors coming this month. I did not want my visitors to be sitting on the floor so I was in a rush for a couch so if you're in a similar predicament or you just really really want your furniture soon I will have that tip available for you let's jump into everything about this couch that I bought specifically from living spaces that I have from Living Spaces is the Costello 3. The Costello 3 has a left arm facing chase and a right arm facing love seat. So it is, it's kind of L-shaped. It's really not all that L-shaped, but when I was talking to my friend and trying to get her decision on it or her opinion on it, she was like, it's L-shaped enough. And I mean, it kind of is. The original price for this sectional was $1,780. When I went the first time, it was discounted because it is a floor model and a floor model is a model that was on display outside of its wrapping etc so people got to test this couch out sit on it etc etc and because of that a lot of stores tend to discount that furniture it was originally discounted for 934 dollars when i saw it the first time i was almost about to buy it but i was like you know what let me go see if there's more options elsewhere so the dimensions on this couch i'm not too sure about but i do know that when i measured my wall the wall that it's sitting up against right now the wall is about 104 inches wide i'm pretty sure i measured it incorrectly but nevertheless that's the measurement that i went by and when i measured the back the length of the couch it was about 102 inches wide so it was literally perfect for the wall that I wanted to put it up against I don't know what the texture is on this couch but I do absolutely love the texture I guess I'll get into that in a little bit now the second time that I went to living spaces I was gonna get a couch the only thing I wanted for Christmas was it a space to sit on comfortably to watch holiday movies that's literally all I wanted <laughs> So I was able to make that happen and when I went back the second time, the price had decreased again. The price on the couch the second time that I went was $615 before 
taxes. So if I'm doing this math correctly, I saved about $1,100 on this couch. Merry Christmas to me. I literally got it, I think it was either Christmas Eve or December 23rd, I'm not sure. We'll get into every good thing about this couch right now because I'm, I'm already noticing that I'm going into detail and I haven't even started the pro section. So let's jump into that right now. One of my likes or one of my pros is price. We've already talked about that. I saved over $1,100 on this couch. So that was amazing, way below my budget, which is great because not only was I able to get it at a discounted price, but because it is a floor model like we've already mentioned before, I was able to come pick it up the very next day, which leads me to my first and last tip. My first tip is if you are pressed for delivery, ask for as is in-store floor models. In my experience, in-store floor models are so easy to find. They have quite a few at living spaces. So all you have to do is ask about where they're at or you can just walk through the store and find them yourselves. The great thing about the floor models is that they are available almost immediately, but these couches or these pieces of furniture that you find on display that are being sold usually do not deliver, which is the case for my couch. I had to go pick it up myself with my car. Girl, and that was a whole mess. But anyway, I bought the couch on a Tuesday and it was ready for pickup on Wednesday. So I was able to pick it up that evening. Another thing that I love about my couch is how big the chase is. This can fit at least two people comfortably. This is probably my favorite part of the couch. I'm often on this chase pretty much every time I'm on the couch because it's so big and comfortable and you can just lay back and enjoy. It's just, I love that part of my couch for sure. Definitely my fave. I also love the color of my couch. It's beautiful. It fits the aesthetic of my home. And since I have nobody messing with my couch, I don't have to worry about little fingers, dirty, nasty fingers staining my couch because I'm a full-blown adult and when my nephew comes to see me he's gonna act like a full-blown adult <laughs> I've never stained it but just assuming that you know it's a very light color assuming that a hand of ketchup were to touch this couch it would probably stain very very easily so I guess the color of the couch would be a pro for some people and a con for others another pro is that living spaces allowed me to come back and get my last piece about 15 minutes after they closed their delivery area. Now, I'm not sure if this was holiday kindness or if this is just their regular type of kindness, but I just don't get your hopes up. It was a few days before Christmas, so I don't know how this is from a day-to-day -day basis, but I was able to get my couch about 15 minutes before they closed. It is a two-piece um, sectional. When I went to go grab the second piece, they had already lowered their garage door, but when I rang the door, doorbell they allowed me to come right in and grab my second piece so I love that my next pro is the assembly it was extremely easy to assemble and that might be because it was already put together as a floor model so all I had to do was stick one piece to the other hook it up and that was literally it so that's another great thing about getting a floor model is that it's already Put together for you the assembly did not take more than 10 to 15 minutes i mean honestly getting the wrapping off of the couch hooking it together and then putting the cushions on the couch that all together had to be no more than 10 to 15 minutes it was so so easy on top of that is the comfortability i really really love how it's like a medium firm type of sofa i've sat on couches or sofas that were really really soft and i don't really love those couches because once you i went for example i went to restoration hardware and sat on the infamous cloud couch very comfortable couch but when i got up you can see where where i sat down because it was so saggy i don't i'm not a fan of that it is super comfortable it does feel like well i don't know what it feels like to actually sit on a cloud but it does feel super comfy i would assume that after some time that couch would look less appealing because of the fact that it just starts to look droopy hopefully this is all making sense and i've also sat on couches that were super rock hard like when i went to big lots i sat on a couch that felt like I was sitting on a stack of rocks. It was so hard. This couch is in between. You can see how like soft it is. It's not a rock, but it's also not, it's not super soft either. So when I get up, 
Uh, let me get up so I can try to demonstrate. You cannot see where I just sat. Well, you really can't see anything, but you cannot see where I just sat. To me, the fact that it's medium firm tells me that this couch will last a good amount of time. I could be wrong, but in my head, because of the fact that it's not super droopy and super soft, this is probably not making any sense, but hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> Hopefully this is speaking to somebody. I don't know how to describe it. Let's just think of it as a medium firm mattress. Um, that's all I got, I'm sorry, I don't know. Another pro is that the cushions on this couch have a zipper on them, so if I ever want to wash them, which I will, I can just unzip the, uh, the cushions, take the cover out, and throw them in the washer. So that's super convenient because I don't have to do much. They make that super easy by allowing the cushion cover to be zippable. The last pro is the smell. Because it was an in-store floor model, there was no chemical smell when it was um, delivered, when I delivered it, to my house. <laughs> <laughs> that is something that's common with new furniture is that wonky smell but because it was pretty much already aired out at living spaces I did not have that experience of having that new couch smell in my home which I really really appreciate that was kind of the same experience that I have with my mattress my mattress isn't used it's brand new but it's also non-toxic all right, that's it for my pros. My list of cons is really, really, really short. I don't have enough experience with the couch to really have gathered enough cons, but so far, I do not like the fact that it does not come with a matching ottoman. I mean, that's not really the couch's fault. It's just the way that they sell furniture, but I do intend on going back to see if they can create one with the same exact texture and color of my current couch so we can just blend in really well. The reason why I want it is because the shorter part of my couch, I want it to be able to extend to the length of my, the entire length of my chase so that I'm not sitting on this one section of the couch for the rest of my life. I just don't want this part of my couch to look all old while this part of my couch looks all new because I can see myself sitting on this chase more than the rest of my couch for the duration of the time that I have it. The goal is to have an ottoman sitting right in this space right here. The only other con is the color. Like I mentioned earlier, for people who have families, who are um, who have children or who just have kids in the house consistently, this couch is easier to stain because of its lighter color. Although this is a beautiful couch for someone who has a neutral aesthetic like I do, this can be a con if that is not your vibe. All right, that is it for my new couch review. I really am enjoying this couch. I cannot wait to finish Fill, filling my space and show you guys what I do in my home decor process of this new home of mine. I thank you guys so much for staying tuned with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or any remarks about my couch hunting experience or my living spaces experience or my experience anywhere else that I went to hunt for a couch, feel free to ask me down below in the comment section. In the meantime, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.